Earlier, we created a single section view. In this exercise, we're going to create multiple section views. From the section views pull down and profile and section views, we're going to create multiple. This wizard is very similar to the profile creation wizard or profile view creation wizard. The one thing that we need to make sure of is that we select draft under section placement because we're not going to place these uh, on sheets at this point. We're just putting them into our drawing to, uh, to look at them, make sure everything's there as we know it should be. I'm going to deselect some of my materials that I created. And I also want to deselect my datum surface. I don't want to show these in my section views. I can go through and change up the band set. I want to set these to offsets only. And I don't want to put any section view tables in. I want to check and make sure that everything's set to the correct style. I want that to be all codes with shading with hatching. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to simply cl uh, click on create section views. The view origin, you need to be aware of this, is the upper left corner of the section views. That's just so you don't place it so that they're overlapping anything. You'll see there where they come in at the origin. Now we can take a look at them and see that Everything looks fairly good there. I can see in my second section view that my water line and my sanitary sewer line are both showing in section. Let's just go down through here and, and take a look at some of these. See how things are looking. I can see there that I caught a structure in section view at station 9. I can see at station 27 plus 7519, I am in full super elevation. And at station 3850, I'm showing a wall. So it looks like everything we did looks correct and uh, really.